This is Nine News First at Five with Peter Overton. Good afternoon, everyone. A contingent of Australian troops and aircraft is currently headed for the Middle East, set to join international efforts battling terror group ISIL. Nine's Laura Turner joins us now with the latest live from Dubai. Laura, what more can you tell us about this Australian force? Treasurer Joe Hockey says the G20 meeting in Cairns has made excellent progress. Mr Hockey says the meeting's aim to live growth by 2% over the next five years is almost complete, but there is still work to be done. And the Nine Network's finance editor, Ross Greenwood, will have an exclusive interview with Treasurer Joe Hockey in Nine News at six o'clock. Sierra Dean couldn't wait to make her grand entrance into the world, born in a car on the side of a Melbourne freeway overnight. Nine's Dougal Beatty caught up with the little girl's parents today and has their miraculous story. In the news ahead, new DNA evidence revealed in the brutal murder of two British backpackers in Thailand. Plus the moment a munitions factory explodes into a fireball in Ukraine. And a bird-napped cockatoo stolen from an Aussie pub. There's been a major breakthrough in the Thailand backpacker murders as police reveal fresh DNA evidence. Also uncovered the first video footage of Hannah Witheridge, filmed in the hours before she was murdered. A military munitions factory in eastern Ukraine has erupted into a huge cloud of smoke and fire. Several powerful explosions were heard in the city of Donetsk, controlled by pro-Russian militia. The blast comes hours after a memorandum was signed calling for a buffer zone between Ukrainian troops and separatists. Social media has been used to track down a prize cockatoo who was birdnapped from a Sydney pub. For more than a decade, George has been the star attraction at Glebe's Friend in Hand Hotel. So when a man walked off with the bird, the publican turned to Facebook for help. A patron spotted George at a nearby racetrack and followed the bird until the hotel's burly manager arrived to reclaim him. It's a nice story. Good story, Ken. Who's here with sport? Good afternoon. We were just laying a bet. That was all. <laughs> <laughs> Stick with me, son. Another NRL final thriller as the Bulldogs hold on against the Sea Eagles. Plus the latest on the injury to Hawthorne star Jordan Lewis ahead of the grand final. And Liverpool again failed to fire in the English Premier League. The Bulldogs have set up a preliminary final day with the Rabbitohs after a thrilling one-point win over Manly last night. After the semi-final headed into Golden Point, it was left to Trent Hodkinson to stand and deliver for the Dogs. OK, Pete, you OK now? Yeah, don't make me laugh because I've got a rotten cold. Thank you, Ken. Okay, Ken. See you at six o'clock in Sydney. You will. All the weather details next. Right now, though, here's a look at what's happening in tonight's News at Six. Next in Nine News... Julia Gillard breaks her silence. It was a disgraceful thing. Nothing and no one is off limits. And what will the real Julia say to this? Ah. This language. The explosive interview Tuesday on GEM. The details now and looking at the satellite for tomorrow, a low pressure trough will move over Western Australia producing heavy showers and the odd storm. A strong high pressure ridge will feed onshore winds into a weak inland trough producing showers over eastern Queensland. Taking a look at the temps across the country, starting in Queensland's north, scattered showers for Cairns and Brisbane, clouds and 21 for Sydney, morning fog in Canberra, a top of 20. Clear skies for Hobart and Melbourne, 33 degrees for both Broome and Darwin. That is Nine's First at Five news for this Sunday. I'm Peter Overton. Our next news is at six o'clock. On behalf of Ken and myself, goodbye for now.